I'm Sue, coming to you from McHenry County Farm Bureau Ag in the Classroom program. Members of the Farm Bureau and local farmers are happy to share with you information about crops grown right here in McHenry County. Today we're going to learn about pumpkins, where they come from, their life cycle, and uses. Who do you think first discovered pumpkins? Pumpkins have been grown for thousands of years, starting in Central America, Mexico, and the southern part of the United States. In the 14 and 1500s, European explorers like Christopher Columbus and Jacques Cartier discovered pumpkins in North America on their adventures. They returned back to Europe with pumpkin seeds to feed animals and pumpkin fruit to show their fellow countrymen. The pilgrims came to America in 1621, and who do you think they found living there? Native American Indians. And what do you think they were growing in their gardens? You're right. Pumpkins. The pilgrims quickly learned from the Native American Indians how to grow pumpkins with other vegetables like corn and beans. Native American Indians showed the pilgrims that pumpkins and other kinds of squash and gourds would keep for many months in their teepees for use during the long winters. The pilgrims learned how to make bowls and cups from pumpkins and gourds, and both the Native American Indians and pilgrims enjoyed the delicious taste of pumpkins and squash. Today, people all across the United States enjoy the taste of pumpkins and squash too. Pumpkins are grown in every state, but do you know which state grows the most pumpkins? Illinois. There are many farms right here in McHenry County that grow pumpkins. You can even visit some of them. Whether pumpkins are grown on a large farm or in a small garden, they grow the same way. This is called the life cycle of a pumpkin. A farmer's field of pumpkins is sometimes called a pumpkin patch. This pumpkin patch is ready to harvest or pick. You can tell because the pumpkins are all big and orange and ready to use. How about this pumpkin patch? Is it ready to harvest? Nope, no big orange pumpkins in this field. This farmer is planting pumpkin seeds in his field with a tractor and planter. Pumpkin seeds are planted in the late spring or early summer when the days and nights are warm. What if I want to plant pumpkins in my garden? All you need to plant seeds in a garden is something to dig with like a shovel or your hand. There are different kinds of pumpkin seeds because there are different kinds of pumpkins. It takes about one week for a pumpkin seed to germinate or start to grow. This little plant is called a pumpkin sprout. Roots are growing in the dirt, holding the sprout in place. Roots are like straws carrying water and nutrients from the soil to the sprout. Pumpkin sprouts grow very quickly into pumpkin vines. All plants need water to grow. A farmer might use an irrigation system to water his pumpkin patch if it doesn't rain. You could use a watering can or hose to water your garden. There are many leaves on a pumpkin vine. Pumpkin leaves are small or large, depending on the pumpkin variety. 
Twisty tendrils grow on pumpkin vines. They anchor the large vine and protect it in the summer wind. Yellow and orange flowers bloom on pumpkin vines. The flowers are pollinated by butterflies and other insects like this bee. Small green pumpkins form behind the flowers. As the pumpkins get larger, the flowers dry up and fall off the vine. The small green pumpkins grow bigger and bigger. Finally, the pumpkins turn orange. Did you know not all pumpkins are orange? Pumpkins come in many sizes, shapes, and colors. Bright, colorful pumpkins are used for fall decorations. Pumpkins used for decorations have interesting names like Cinderella pumpkins, peanut pumpkins, blue moon pumpkins, and lumpy bumpy knucklehead pumpkins. Large white pumpkins are called ghost pumpkins. Small white pumpkins are called baby boo pumpkins. Just like the Native American Indians and the pilgrims, we can eat pumpkins today you must choose special eating kinds of pumpkins. In order to eat pumpkin, you must cook it first. You can cook your own pumpkin at home. First, remove the stem and the seeds. Cut the pumpkin and remove the outside shell. Cook the meat or flesh of the pumpkin on the stove or in the oven. Finally, stir or mash the soft pumpkin and it is ready to use in a recipe. Some farmers grow special canning pumpkins in their fields. They are tan colored and oblong in shape. Farmers harvest the pumpkins and deliver them to the canning factory. To see more pictures of these farms, you can go to the link at the bottom of the slide to see videos. At the factory, the pumpkins are cleaned, cut, and cooked. The cooked pumpkin is put in cans. The cans are labeled and delivered to the grocery store. Whether you cook your own pumpkin or buy a can of pumpkin at the grocery store, you can make lots of healthy, delicious treats with pumpkin. Did you know you could eat the seeds from a pumpkin? Cook them first, add a little salt, and enjoy. Farmers also grow pumpkins just right for carving. We call them jack-o'-lanterns. The next time you carve a jack-o'-lantern, save a seed. Plant it on a sunny, warm spring day. What do you think will grow?